Hi, Trichologist Carolyn here at Absolute. Um, we were just sharing a bit about the hair cycle and how it can get disturbed from stopping starting um, certain types of medications. So it can trigger your growing hair to fall. So when that happens, you may lose um, double the amount of hair per day. Now, it will happen for three months. Now, the important thing here is as it's coming back into the cycle, and you've got to remember your cycle, it changes. It's your DNA. If something's wrong in the body at that time, when the hair regrows, or if it regrows, sometimes it will remain dormant. It's always there, but it needs to have the right environment. These layers, all of these layers, make up every individual hair. Okay? If it does not grow back properly, well then the strong structure of your hair may not return. So one of the key elements to understanding if things are right or wrong, has the texture changed? Has the volume changed? Has the density changed of your hair? And we're talking about the entire head. So these types of problems are to do with diffuse. Okay, so your entire head hair is diffuse. So you don't lose hairs in patches or patterns. It's always diffuse. So when we've got diffuse damage, meaning the hairs haven't grown back properly, thank God, it's scattered amongst your um, whole head. So when we see that that's not growing properly on the surface, which we can see with a microscope, we can tell that things down here at a cellular level aren't quite right. So when the cell divides, it should be replicating your DNA, a healthy cell to grow your hair. And sometimes when this hair cycle is out of order, the hair does not come back properly. Then that will also affect the cycle. It will change your genetic hair cycle. So you need to be aware that that's happening over the entire head. And it can expose pattern thinning as well. So pattern thinning is not actually physical hair loss. So it's hair gradually thinning because of DHT binding. And it is only ever in this top front area. So of course, if you have hair loss, or the hair has not grown back properly diffusely, hair, diffuse hair thinning over the entire scalp, of course you're gonna notice this more because your eyes are at the front, the light is at the front, our hair is naturally thinner at the front anyway. So be careful not to sort of overlap these two and misunderstand what you need to correct them or what the actual causes are. Always get a correct diagnosis so we can look at the structure of your genetic hair type so we know how it should be and then how to get it back. So again, email me any questions, concerns or with your story, happy to help. It's info at absolute.com.au.